If you are a European citizen who is fully vaccinated or can prove that you have recovered from the virus, you will have a fairly easy time jet setting across Europe this summer because under this plan, you will be able to skip testing or quarantine. Other travelers, though, won't necessarily be so lucky. They could still be subject to restrictions depending on whether the country they are traveling from has COVID under control. And to help cut down on the confusion around what is currently a mishmash of requirements and restrictions, EU states have agreed to standardize some metrics. So fully vaccinated, that means a person received their last dose 14 days ago. PCR tests will now be uh, valid for 72 hours, while rapid antigen tests will have a 48-hour shelf life. The block uh, will also loosen the traffic light system, which ranks countries from green to dark red based on their level of infection. This will help broaden the list of regions which are considered safe. We can be confident now. With this update and with the EU digital COVID certificate, Europeans will be able to enjoy a safe summer holiday with only limited, if any, restrictions. The catch here is that this plan is not legally binding, so there is a chance of some picking and choosing, but member states have far less wiggle room when it comes to the legally binding COVID certificate, which also got the green light from the European Council on Friday after lawmakers voted overwhelmingly in favor of the pass earlier this week. These certificates verify that a person has been fully vaccinated, recovered from COVID, or recently tested negative. Now, more than 10 countries are already issuing and recognizing these passes, but come July 1st, it will be a requirement for all 27. This goes all by the wayside, though, if the COVID situation gets out of control or a new variant emerges. Uh, member states have the option to hit the emergency break to bar travelers. This easing, though, comes as vaccinations gather pace just over a quarter of the EU population is now fully vaccinated and countries are keen to get back up and running as quickly as possible.